Welcome to the fourth episode of the Broken Pictures podcast slash YouTube show where we discuss our favorite things that you might have missed in pop culture this week. And uh, my top thing is uh, Game of Thrones. Well, my top thing's better than your top thing because my top thing shoots webs because it's Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is New Year, New Engagements. Spicy. Yay. So uh, there may be potentially spoilers for your favorite shows, TV shows, movies, comics, and or video games, whatever we happen to talk about this week or that week. So you have been warned, and this is The FOMO Show. Oh, yeah. Macho man. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, thanks for joining us. This is, like I said, our fourth episode. So we're we're still babies in this uh, podcast, or not? Well, it's still in the podcasting stuff. We're still kind of babies, but uh, in the pop culture realm, I guess we're we're babies in the podcasting stuff and the the YouTube show. So we're still figuring the show out. So we've we made a few little 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 adjustments just to kind of keep it from dragging on so long, uh, kind of make that more uh, more comfortable for you, because <laughs> we could talk forever. We could. No. Well, no. Okay. <laughs> Some of us don't like to sit here forever. She's technically like the producer. She keeps us on track with time and stuff. Mm -hmm. I try to. By the way, are you timing us today? No. Okay. I'm going to slap you instead. So watch out. Oh, <laughs> I better watch out. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, by the way, I'm Dylan. And I'm Lydia. I'm Quinn. I'll be Quinn today. <laughs> <laughs> I keep waiting every week, like, what's, what's he going to say? What's he gonna say? <laughs> uh, so thanks for watching on YouTube, Facebook, or listening in podcast form. You can find those wherever you uh, find all your favorite podcasts on iTunes or whatever. Uh, also, hello to all the new listeners, uh, whether you're in the nation, in the nation? in the states or international or beyond or whatever so uh, don't forget to check out the website that's www.broken.picturesno.com and you can find us on social media that's on facebook at broken picture social on instagram and twitter you can find us at broken underscore social and you can find us on patreon as well broken pictures uh, more importantly, though, if you would uh, just like, share, and subscribe, uh, or rate and review, like on iTunes, you give us a, a good review. Let people know that uh, the lets people know that the show is out there and helps us reach more people. Helps us help us helps us grow the show. I can't speak today, so we can entertain you. Absolutely. So uh, yeah, tell your tell your friends and your grandma and your mama and all that good stuff. Um, but also if you're on yeah because they'll enjoy it <laughs> depends you might have a cool grandma you never know that's fair so uh, <laughs> yeah I don't know why the grandma from Napoleon Dynamite popped in my <laughs> you don't know grandma got friends uh, anyways <laughs> broke, my, broke my cockle bone uh, so <laughs> I'm sorry uh, if you're on YouTube don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell icon for Ding. notifications when there are new videos yes. so and that also helps the youtube algorithm which is very complicated it's not it's not as easy as put out a video and hope people see it it's like the more people comment like share that helps it circulate better it like stirs the pot so stir the pot for us we'd appreciate it special notes i'd like to say happy birthday to my niece Ansley, whose birthday was yesterday, which is Monday. Today is Tuesday, by the way. We film on Tuesdays uh, or record on Tuesdays. And tomorrow is my very own youngest daughter's birthday. She'll be 11. Aww. Crazy. Uh, feeling birthday. old. A little, little Riley Lou. Yep. So. Anyway. Yep. Spoiler alert. If you missed it the first time. Spoiler alert. You have been warned. Hmm. Yeah. So, what are you guys watching this week? What have you read, played, video games, read, whatever? Nothing. <laughs> I've been dumb. Mm -hmm. Well, no. I. TV wise, wrestling. Yeah. Wrestling. Yeah. 
I always watch wrestling. So well, you, you just told told us right before we started something you had just watched this week. Oh, I watched Aquaman <laughs> finally. Yeah, I did do that. <laughs> but everybody's seen Aquaman already. I'm yeah. late to the party. Oh well. So I mean, we were too. And it, yeah, that's true. On a on a personal level though, uh, miss it or don't miss it. For don't you. miss it. Don't miss it's out. it's just that good. And I'm not gonna get too far into it, but I kind of hope they make more. Hmm. <laughs> I spent a lot of time on Twitter this week, so that's. I. Started. What did we watch for pizza movie night? We do a pizza movie night every week with our kids. Uh, the Mummy. We watched oh, the yeah. Mummy. Miss it big time. Like, oh man, I wanted it to be. I wanted there to be something salvageable so badly. Like, I wanted this dark universe to happen. Killed my dreams. It did. Yeah. And like, several people. Uh, commented on facebook is where i tag it and everything they were like oh man i loved it can't wait for the second one i was like oh, <laughs> sorry they're, they're just not pretty much it. you're talking about both my aunts is what he's saying and i wasn't just gonna call them out but it. thanks aunt leslie and donna we we didn't appreciate it as much so give us a call explain to us why you liked it uh and it had, why we're wrong because we very possibly are tom cruise running Tom doing Cruise stunts. running. <laughs> yeah, uh, Jim Pierce who commented on it and said Tom Cruise, Tom Cruising all over it. I really appreciated <laughs> oh, yeah. your comment. That, there was never a better comment for that. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty perfect. Thanks for the comment, Jim, by the way. <clears throat> um, so, uh, yeah, I definitely missed that one, even though I wish they would just start over. I saw what they were trying to do. I wanted it to happen so badly. But it didn't, so we're going to move I'm on. I'm sorry. I'm still in, in mourning mm. over it. Um, all right. On the other side of the spectrum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hit us with that luscious oh, yeah. movie voice? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the number one movie of the week is The Upside with Kevin Hart and the other guy from Breaking Bra Bad. Brian Cranston. Brian Cranston. 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 Cranston? I don't Cranston. know. Oh. I don't know. Which, congratulations. I didn't think... I honestly, watching the trailer, I didn't know if they wanted to go watch it or not. Yeah. But they, apparently they did, and now it's number one. Yeah, Kevin Hart definitely needed this movie right now. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, it, it unseated Aquaman, and, and I was just saying that that must sting. <laughs> Help me. Taking jabs. <laughs> Help. Aquaman was, like, number one for, like, a month, man. Like, they it were did. killing it. By the way, I, I forgot to mention Aquaman has now unseated The Dark Knight oh. for top DC. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. confused by this because last week I saw promo or not promos, but emails and, and headlines and stuff saying, oh, top DC movie. It's unseated. The Dark Knight Rises. And I was like, what about The Dark Knight? Like, oh. surely I was like, well, maybe they just maybe just internationally, they weren't gauging it as much until The Dark Knight Rises or something. That's why. Hmm. But then this week they're like, oh yeah, it, it seems like they're looking for something to make it better than. Yeah. It's like, you know what I mean? Okay. I don't know. But anyways, I just wanted an opportunity to show off this uh, amazing letter opener my son got me for Christmas. It's a uh, sting from The Hobbit. It is. It's very it's, nice. It's very sharp on one end. Stick them with the pointy oh. end. <laughs> Moving but on. But now for our <laughs> new releases. Uh, these movies will probably be coming out Friday or Thursday night, and you can see them in theaters or maybe Netflix, or depending on where they come out. So the first one we have is Glass, which is the sequel to Unbreakable. Is it Unbreakable? And yeah. Split. And Split. And yeah, Split. It's a threequel. It's a threequel. So a trilogy. Yeah. I it's believe is what that was called. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it was Unbreakable, <clears throat> Split. And now Glass. Yeah. I have not seen Unbreakable, so we're supposed to watch that this week. I'm yeah. pretty excited. Unbreakable is really good. The reviews for Glass are mixed. mixed. I don't care. I'm going to like it. I'm going to watch it no matter what. It's got what. Bruce Willis in it. I will love everything. First name, Mr. Last name, Glass. That's all I want to see is yeah. that. I'm, uh, I'm so down. I mean, the cast is just amazing. It is, actually. But moving on. So the second movie is a personal yes for me. Uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly, which is finally making pretty much everything that was non-canon in the Dragon Ball Z world canon. Really? Yes, because Broly was considered uncanon until oh, now. Oh, wow. So 
and it's gonna fill in a lot of plot holes, but it's probably gonna be literally the biggest anime movie ever. Is it just like a fan service thing or is it like- No, a, it's Akira Toriyama being like, okay, okay. Yeah, you just went over I, I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's who, he's said. the creator of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> like, he's you're like, speaking another language right now. <laughs> Like he was in several <laughs> interviews, he was like, I, I, you know, I know there's a lot of plot holes. This movie's pretty much going to recreate the history of Dragon Ball Z from the very beginning. Wow, oh. that's so, so awesome that someone like yeah. recognized and acknowledged it rather than like, I mean, in so many other universes, they're just like, oh, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> I don't get it. So, it's, yeah, they totally Ryan Johnson. I only read the first it. book. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what the fans think. <laughs> we'll talk about Ryan Johnson later. <laughs> um, also, next we have Adult Life Skills. It doesn't have a rating. Then we have The Heiresses coming out on January 16th. And also we have Unbridled, rated PG-13, not knowing when it's coming out. I'm assuming the 16th as well. Yeah. Then we have... No, um, if it if it doesn't say, then it's going to be the regular Thursday night, Friday. Okay. So the 16th is Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. Which uh, Broly also comes out on Wednesday. It does. I hope it stays in theaters longer than a week so I can go see it. Because they usually do anime movies like a week. But, whereas I split lit, doesn't have a rating coming out Thursday night, Friday. Same time, I guess. Yeah. And then we have What is Democracy? I'm assuming that's a documentary of some sort. Mm. Um, Who Will Write Our History does not also have a rating. Egg. So, uh, by the way, by the way, with the it seems like it's a very uh, popular time to to uh, to have social commentary and, and movies based around the Constitution oh, and like. Yeah. <laughs> why we why we do what we do as a nation and stuff so without getting too political like it it's funny how like when i was a kid and everything was cool it was almost like nerdy to be like patriotic <laughs> and wearing an american flag and that kind of thing yeah. but now it's just like you couldn't do anything cooler you know and and be more like i guess it's Hamilton, probably nerdy because it's illegal like you're not actually supposed to do it. It goes against. Oh, well, I mean that's that's a. That's tough. Anyway. I mean nobody follows that. Everybody wears like <laughs> American flag underwear and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. But yeah, I mean I think with the like Hamilton really kind of started the ball rolling with all this kind of stuff. Yeah. Anyways, that's that's all I have to say. Okay. About that. Then we have the Saint Bernard Syndicate. Doesn't have a rating. Good night. Charlene, mm -hmm. is that right? Okay. Then we have Carnal Street, rated PG-13. It's Canal Street. Canal Street, rated PG-13. Yeah. Way different movie. <laughs> <laughs> Not Depends a PG-13 rating if it's Carnal Street. Depends on what city you're in. <laughs> but it is, yeah, it is PG-13. Okay. <laughs> then we have All These Small Moments. It doesn't have a rating coming out January 17th. Which is, I think, today. No, no. no. Two days Wednesday now. is the 16th. <laughs> Thursday is the 17th. That's how all calendars work. Thank you for breaking that down for our audience, babe. <laughs> I felt like it was necessary with the trouble that you had. <clears throat> Just kidding. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and do the disc and digital. Well, program. I haven't talked. Well, I mean, if you want to, that's fine. I want to. Say words. You just mentioned that it was kind of redundant or whatever but which is why i don't want to listen to you do it oh <laughs> good point okay. on this and or digital release today unless i say so because i say so uh boy erased rated r suspiria rated r hunter killer that's kind of odd little combination there that's that's the uh, gerard butler right one, yeah. rated r untouchable not rated also not rated is dry blood Goosebumps 2, Haunted Halloween, uh, PG, Once Upon a Deadpool, PG-13. So uh, excited for that one. Really? Yeah, Bob Ross Deadpool approves. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tea with the Dames, Nothing Like a Dame, not rated. Uh, the Dark, not rated. The Bookshop PG, Madeline's Madeline, not or rated. Or is it Madeline's Madeline? Or is it Madeline's Madeline? <laughs> 
Okay. So many combinations. <laughs> a girl not rated coming out on the 18th, so Saturday. Nobody better rate her. She can be who she wants to be. You're what? dang right. <laughs> I.O. not rated coming out on the 18th, which is a Netflix special. Um, Close, not rated, also coming out on the 18th, the Netflix special again. Uh, the Last Suit, not rated. Speed Kills, rated R. Jonathan, not rated. And this is the rest of these are going to be limited theater release. This is coming out on Wednesday. Uh, was Jonathan not rated yet? Um, Don't Come Back from the Moon, not rated. Uh, the Stand. I'm curious about that one. That one's uh, James Franco. Don't Come Back from the Moon. Mm hmm. <laughs> Uh, the Standoff at Sparrow Creek, not rated. The Last Man, rated R. The Brawler, not rated. Uh, I Hate Kids, PG-13. <laughs> Guess they're wanting some of the teenagers to know that we hate them. <laughs> uh, An Acceptable Loss, rated R. Which has Jamie Lee Curtis. Whom oh. I love. Yeah. I thought Dearly. you might want to know that one. I do. I'm marking it down. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's totally acceptable nowadays for a big actor or actress to go back and do an indie flick that has like a limited release and stuff like that, or even like straight to DVD, be, uh, just because it's it's an entire different industry now. Like yeah. I, I remember back in the day, it was just like taking a huge step back in your career if you go to TV from movies and it's like, once you go to film, it was like, that was like the, the it, top, you know? But yeah. also like you have so much pull when someone like Jamie Lee Curtis has an indie film, it gets so much more attention mm -hmm. and things like that. So like I can yeah. see the, especially if it's something that that particular star believes in wholeheartedly, mm -hmm. it puts a really big yeah. uh, push and, on it. And that that really uh, is, uh, is a thing too, is like there's just a lot less ego where people are more willing to use their star power to help somebody else out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. So, uh, we the new format, we're going to do our top five things from the week. Our favorite top five. So, here is the top five things from the week that you might have had FOMO about, but you ain't got FOMO no more. So, FOMO is fear of missing out, in case you don't know. Hip. Hit, hit me, hit me. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so, um, do you want to do Spider-Man? Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and jump into it. So, this, this is going to be a group effort because I'm, I'm so about this. Like, I've been waiting for this. So, were you up at 5.30 in the morning? No. Okay. That's why That's why you get to do it and not me. So, 5.30 this morning, the tr the teaser on Tom Holland's Instagram dropped. That was just like the minute long, super short version of the trailer. Showing just him in London, Nick Fury shows up, and then Elementals, then Mysterio. Then I was like, okay, is there not more? Then I get on YouTube look for the full trailer i see everything and boy howdy <laughs> this movie is yes I'm, yeah. I'm just really excited about it like I, I i don't even know where to start there's so much do you know uh why we got the trailer early did no. you so there was these two guys that that make uh, apparently make youtube videos or twitter twitter videos or whatever in a hallway <laughs> And uh, they, they, and it's all just like, you know, uh, cuts back and forth of them like, hey, hey, hey you know, that, and going okay. back and stuff like that and throwing up like fonts on the screen and or type, you know, type on the screen and stuff like that. Oops. And they were just like, hey, Sony, hey, Marvel, da, 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 da. we should get a trailer. We've, we got Endgame. We're excited about that. But everybody else has seen the trailer. We want to see the trailer. We deserve to see the trailer. And they start <laughs> like calling out like, uh, 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 they call out Sony, they call out Marvel, they call out Tom Holland. And, and, and but then Tom Holland shared it and was like, I'll see what I can do. So then we get the and trailer like a couple trailer, days later. Because yeah. Tom Holland's cool and likes to What if the things. whole time they were going to drop it today anyway? And Maybe. these guys knew and we're just like, we should do something funny about it because yeah. we know. Yeah. That, that would be cool. Too. Like it was everywhere. <laughs> like it went viral big time. <laughs> but so just a super 
Not uh, super quick, but a trailer breakdown. Is there anything that you guys noticed that was weird? I was really confused. She was confused. She I was very was confused. confused. Dude I was, was like Doctor Strange and stuff so, over there. Yeah, they remixed them just a tad. Like every time I've ever come across Mysterio, it's always either been like some type of scarecrow. I got some poison gas. My poison gas. I got some hallucinogen gas. I'm a magician, but not a real magician type of thing. Mm -hmm. Now he's a smooth, straight up magician. Like special effects type. Yeah, like he holograms. Yeah, yeah, but he's not anymore. Cause I see, like you see him going up there and fighting the water elemental. You, you look right there. There is a magical triangle spinning yep. around. Like my name is Doctor Strange. Yeah. That's what see, I said. But to, like to me, that is as. As much weird things as we heard about the trailer before the trailer came, and I, I mean, like like you, when I watched it, I was, I was just like, all all of my reservations went out the window. Just like, yes, it feels right, you know? But the Mysterio remix also feels like a like it, a natural progression. Like yeah. it fits in the MCU where, for him to use magic rather than... It'd be fake. Yeah. I'm super okay with it because it was difficult for me to get on board with what's his face in one of the Iron Man's using electricity. Anyway, I'm bad at Whiplash? this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It was like hard for me to kind of get on board with him mm. using technology so far <clears throat> that I don't know. I oh, felt like so it's far. Advanced, it was yeah. Like magic. Yeah. And so like I really appreciate that they just like it's easier to chalk it up to magic kind of thing like oh it's magic so mm -hmm. we've got some room for error well, that's where we are now. But like, according to yeah, thor exactly. according to thor they're the same thing though so science and magic yeah <laughs> just depends on how you look at them yeah. <laughs> well i come from the one and the same Chris. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we're just we're wishing we were Chris Hemsworth right now. <laughs> yeah. Or Liam Hemsworth. Yeah. Even I mean, even, even if you were to series. like smash us together and make one person, I don't think it would equal <laughs> one of the Hemsworth boys. You're right. <laughs> Sorry Thanks. to break it to you, my dear. My, dear my fiance, fiance just told me I'm half the man who Thor is, but I'm kind of okay with it. But. <laughs> <laughs> I'm less than half a man. <laughs> I was gonna say that, but I thought that'd be too much. You just lay it on thick. Go ahead and put it out there. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm trying to think anything else. Oh, the budding romance between MJ and Peter. It's the I love you. Yes. Yeah, that's increasing. Yeah. They did I'm very sorry. well in not alluding to anything else involving in-game. Even though there yeah. was like, there's tons of rumors. I'm gonna say tons. Like there's like five <laughs> rumors that the the last scene in Endgame is gonna be the first scene for Spider-Man. Oh, that it immediately. Yeah. yeah, like it immediately goes. But then we, you know, see the trailer, him and Aunt May who be flirting with anybody who's ever for met real? an Avenger ever. Uncle Ben. Who? Listen here, y'all. <laughs> she is a strong, independent woman. Okay. She can do whoever she wants, and if Happy wants to be that person and make her happy, I think it's good. His name is Happy. That is true. That is why happy is his business. So, ah. so. <laughs> and so make you do happy. what makes you happy. <laughs> Mr. Happy. Um, Mrs. Happy. Yeah. <laughs> I, she was just, I mean, well, Tony was actually coming on to her. She wasn't really coming on to Tony. And Tony so. had a girlfriend. Not at the time. Him no, and him they and, were broken him up. Him and Pepper yeah. were on the rocks. Nah. It was during the break. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ross. It's not Ross and Rachel over here. Don't get to flirt with Aunt May. We got to see the, the new suit. Well, two new suits, actually, of Spider-Man. Yeah. You got to see the black and red suit that he debuted on jimmy kimmel as well i mm -hmm. saw that i was like that's weird why would you do that but actually I seeing kinda, it, i thought it was pretty cool i thought it was cool too but i'll say it's <laughs> we got some reservations <laughs> no toxic <laughs> fandom here <laughs> but then we also got to see what i'm just gonna assume is his big time stealth suit I didn't see like the giant green spider lights on it yeah but, it was so quick like something yeah. in front of his eyes i, I should have yeah. paused it to get better look but i didn't it almost so up. <laughs> like the eyes bug out a little bit on it, so it almost looks like a 
mix of a spider noir suit minus the coat but like I'm binoculars just, or something yeah but i'm just gonna assume it's a big time still suit yeah so. it, that would be really funny if he just like started taking on the nicholas cage voice <laughs> <laughs> the wind follows me wherever i go <laughs> spider verse <laughs> All right. Anything else about that one? I don't think so. Other than I just I feel the need to just geek out on it, but please don't. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. His helmet just appears. It's just like, Oh, it's yeah. just like it's just like I'm gonna go fight. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, like yeah. uh uh like Space Ranger. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> huh. He just has to call him fishbowl head once. Yeah, he's he's basically Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. He With who? Mysterio. Mysterio. Okay, thank you. Last oh, time yeah. we checked, we were talking about Spider Man's suit. I had no clue y'all were talking about. Jay we skip, we jumped suits. Sorry. Okay. Yes. Straight up jump jumpsuit on me. Jake jumpsuit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's hilarious. That's his name. Now, <laughs> on to number two. I don't know who's going to. Oh, I'll take this one. Okay. Quick question. I'm wearing this shirt. I drink and I know things. So I'm going to know this one. All right, so number two, before we get into number two, just take this opportunity to say- Why would you say, all right, number two, but before we get into number two- like, It's a oh, teaser, yeah, it's a say. teaser for number two. After this, number two. Uh, so, <laughs> Casey Kasem. Anyways, <laughs> I was just, that felt, Under, no, no, in no. my head it made sense. <laughs> you don't so, have to explain it. <laughs> uh, we're gonna give away this uh, Game, of, Game of Thrones, this Ooh. Guardians of the Galaxy <laughs> Volume Two, uh, Blu-ray and 3D. It it includes the 2D through the 2D Blu-ray and the Blu-ray 3D. <clears throat> and this this is the uh, British version, but it still I don't know why plays you over. Why do say that every time? It don't matter. Well, well just just so you like oh well, Lydia out. bought me the. the well, I wasn't going to go into all so that. No. You did last time. Well, just because I talked too much. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, just in case somebody looks at it and be like, that look, looks weird. It's not looks a special British edition. To me. Well, it's 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 not necessarily a special edition, but they didn't. They released the 3D over here in, in limited release, so I had to go to another source. But anyways, uh, this one is unopened, and so this could be yours for the low low price of 29. No, I'm just kidding. Two We're monthly give... installments of 19.99. <laughs> yeah. So this this is our giveaway for the month at the end of January. We're going to give this away to enter the contest. All you got to do be a subscriber to our YouTube channel and comment on this video on YouTube below and like the video. So three things. Like, comment, subscribe. All right? Which is literally that, what every video ever giving something free asks you to do. So it should exactly. be hard to remember. Yeah, it should yeah. be pretty normal, pretty standard. And this could be yours. <laughs> and then we'll we'll uh, pull a name at random from the list. So uh, that random. could be yours. Boom, 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 boom. And by random, we mean if you make the me only laugh. commenter. <laughs> <laughs> the one person who comments. Hey, hey if it's one person, that's, that's what it is. We got some more videos the for the next few months after favor. that. So, <laughs> exactly. So number two, Game of Thrones teaser. Right before True Detective on you Sunday. Know, oh my gosh. I, got I didn't even goosebumps. know what was happening until it was happening. Well, I, I knew that they were going to announce uh, the the release date for se episode one for when the next season starts, which, which is, is April 14th. A April 14th, which I'm happy about because it's not going to be the same weekend as uh, Endgame and our wedding. <laughs> it's just like that's, that's going to be a busy weekend for me. We'll be a little tied up, yeah. literally. Time to not. Oh, I was like, <laughs> that's Thank you there, Clint. Appreciate it. Yeah. I'm sorry. My mind went somewhere else with that. I was like, whoa. Lord. Jeez. Like, I didn't know it was like that. Anyways. It ain't. I didn't think it was. Uh, but so, the trailer. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of dark stuff, uh, Game of Thrones. Uh so yeah, so they're in the crypts of Winterfell and they're walking through and we see uh John pass uh Lyanna's uh burial oh, uh mom. statue. Yeah. With the feathers yeah, still he, in her hand. Yeah, exactly. That well he does he doesn't register her, he just walks past her. And then uh, the feather that uh, uh King Baratheon put there 
uh, Robert way back in season uh, one, episode fifty thousand years episode ago, which is crazy one. to me because it's like as soon as they get all the way to the back of there, the wind's gonna start blowing. But that feather hadn't blown off all this. Well, time. Well, actually, uh, when San- when Sansa or Sansa or whatever came back into the crypts when they retook Winterfell, she picked it up and put it back in the hand. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Did not remember that. Thank you. So mm-hmm. uh, yeah, it's like an exotic bird feather, and it, it was it's you know we didn't feather. get it at the time, but. Uh, is it? Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I just kept seeing people say that it was a tropical bird feather or whatever. I didn't know what it was. Um, but and at first when I saw it, I thought that it had come off his clothes or something. I didn't, it didn't register. But uh, so, yeah, it was just like a special gift when, when uh, Robert came and he was basically just told uh, Cersei to get lost so he could go visit Lyanna's grave. Yeah. And, uh, so, yeah, so for, from the very beginning, episode one, before we even realized, unless you were a reader or whatever, before we realized what was going down, he was burning her. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so yeah, so he walks by and passes Liana's grave, and, uh, and then we see Sansa come through, and she passes uh, Catelyn's grave, and Catelyn says something about uh, all, all this happened because she couldn't love a, mo- a motherless child. And then uh, we see Arya coming through, Arya, not Aria. 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 Yeah. Some people get all up in arms about that. It's not Arya. It's Arya. Anyways. <clears throat> so, yeah, she's walking down the halls and she doesn't pass, pass a statue. So, I don't know if that's a, like. I think she came in from another tunnel, a little secret one. That's how they're going to escape. Maybe. So, then uh, she's walking through and then they all converge at one point. Wait, hold on. Then somebody passes Ned Ned statue. That's right. First, that's right. Uh, uh, after Arya, we see uh, John pass Ned statue, and Ned talks about how John has made, his blood. Yeah, has his blood. He might not be a Stark, but he's got his blood. And so then uh, they all converge at one point, and like at that point, I'm just like, are they about to fight? Because because <laughs> there's there's that uneasiness between Sansa and John now. And but they're the they they are standing in front of their own statue. Hold on, we're not there yet. Yes. Not, yes, we we're not are. there yet. I'm I'm about to say something else. So there's there's that uneasiness between Sansa and John, and then we got the teaser before just that few seconds where Sansa was telling uh, I'm, I'm Daenerys I'm telling Daenerys. I was I'm saying the actors' names in my I was like uh, Emily Clark's character uh, telling Daenerys that Winterfell is hers, but because Sansa has like elements of Littlefinger. In her, you don't know if she's playing the game or if she's wow. legit because she disagreed with John that she that he should even go and that she thought that it was a bad move. So there there's obviously some under underpinning elements of uneasiness there. And uh, so anyway, they they converge and then they all walk forward and end up at the statues of their own graves and you get this shot of each of them realizing what it is and kind of freaked out and um <clears throat> and then that we st- we start to see the torch burn out or blow out from the winds of winter and the uh, we don't have to go like every detail i'm just I'm, I'm super As sad. I describe <laughs> every single detail, <laughs> when I get to the last two seconds, so yeah, then the, the ice comes through and and, and it uh, freezes up the feather and it blows out the torch and they draw their swords. And Except uh, for Sansa, yeah, ex- she's playing a mind game. Yeah, so the, I thought that was super cool the way they played Sansa because she kind of just stepped back like she, be, I'm sorry, I just bumped. Did you spill tea? No. Okay, sorry. Uh, so yeah, she the way she stepped back, and the other two drew swords, and she doesn't play like that. She she plays on a whole different level. I like how they played up how they all have their own contributions, and they 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 really battle on different levels, and uh, especially with the the front from Cersei coming and the front from the Night's King or the Night King coming, uh, where they've all got their own. And Arya kind of kind of can play both because she's. Uh, she prays to the many man. face God. Yeah. Yeah. So she she's she can go back and so it's like uh, they've all they're all battling on different fronts. And anyway, I've said that about three different ways, but uh, 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 one thing that somebody noticed was that well, I mean they're just really bad representations of them, the statues. But also uh, some people seem to think that John's statue looks a lot older. Yep. 
Way older. Way older. So they're, they're I completely agree with that. Oh, he looks a did. lot heavier. Yeah. A lot his, older. Like his beard was down right yeah. here. Yeah. Way longer. So yeah, some of the fan theories already are set are speculating that that is a a clue that John will live and that Sansa and Arya might not because they are act, Young. they're they're represent they're even wearing the same clothes that they're wearing at that moment. Mm -hmm. So very prophetic. Oh, and Bran wasn't there. Yeah, that's right. Bran wasn't there. So yeah, where's Bran? Bran is flying around. Is that, Bran's yeah, better than that. Even, <laughs> <laughs> he's no longer a Stark. He's no longer Bran Stark. He's three eyed Raven. Whatever that means. Yeah, um, he's the tree he, man. Tree man. He's hippie, no hippie tree man. man. <laughs> Um, speaking of Game of Thrones, I'm super excited to find out that Angela Kinsey is a Game of Thrones fan and watcher. Like, that's crazy to me. We'll never think about Angela Martin in the same way. Not to be confused with my stepmother, Angela Martin, the actress Angela Kinsey, who plays Angela Martin from The Office, which is why I'm wearing an office shirt. Um, she reposted the Game of Thrones trailer, and I was just super shocked to see that. So I love you even more, Angela Kinsey. You're amazing. Uh, but another little Game of Thrones person. So, um, what is his name? Aiden Gillen, who plays uh, Little Pinky, a.k.a. Littlefinger on Game of Thrones, has a new show coming out on the History Channel um, <laughs> um, called Project Blue Book, which is about uh, different conspiracy theories following UFOs and things like that. And it looks pretty decent. And I'm yeah. actually interested to watch it. Not to be confused with uh, the value of your vehicle. <laughs> no wonder I was like, where have I heard that? <laughs> LOL. Yeah, not Kelly Blue Book. It's yeah. Project Blue Book. Yeah, which is kind of perfect for him. Yeah, yeah. it's literally yeah. amazing. His like, voice. I saw the trailer and I was like, dang, what are you doing? Like, I'm I'm like getting like an unsolved mysteries vibe. It's Thank like, you. Today, when we went out, they weren't there and they should have been there or whatever. No. Oh, that was a horrible that accent. That was really rough. But it, as yeah. he returned home, his father realized. <laughs> Oh, wait, where's my son? Oh, snap, he has a shotgun run. And then pretty much, yeah. Except and then go it's about up. UFOs, guys. <laughs> so it's more alienistic than... Alienistic? Alienistic. Yeah, I just created that word. But hmm. can we move on so uh, y'all stop do, doing do you impressions? Have, <laughs> do you have anything else to say about Game of Thrones? Um... Oh, there's also, I'm sorry. There's also a lot of theories about why they showed the Crips at Winterfell because there are... Some fan theories about like what could be hidden in dragon the crypts. Sword. Dragon glass. Yeah, dragon glass. A dragon the, glass sword. Uh, another dragon egg. Another uh, like it's an not ice. Big, well, did. well, because yeah. like uh, supposedly there are like ice dragons that are not like Viserion that got converted to an ice They're dragon. They're not death dragons. Right, yeah. And that that because Winterfell is actually like the place where winter fell, like where they defeated the Night King last time. Oh, and so oh, uh, snap. and so there's there's uh, and the crypts were the first thing to be built. So there there are rumors, speculation that that potentially like the night night king's bride is being held there, and that's why he's like what? crazy okay. crazy like tinfoil hat stuff. That's super tinfoil hat because yeah. there had been nothing mentioned at all. Like an ice dragon is feasible because there are other things right. that like that have you know mentioned ice dragons. Mm -hmm. Even in the Game of Thrones game that Telltale made, uh -huh. like one thing that you had to protect was a uh, from in Winter's Grove was an ice dragon egg. Bruh, Boom. Boom. I'm so ready for this season. Just give it to us already. Yes. Yeah, and the the battle. Oh my gosh, the battle for Winterfell. I don't know. Well, I don't know if it's going to be the battle for Winterfell or the battle for like the, the North. Yeah. Like what do they call it? The long night battle or whatever. I can't remember what it's called, but that battle is supposed to be like the most expensive, biggest, longest battle ever put to film. It's supposed to be epic. So it's pretty much taking a fall season. Yeah. All next season. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's uh, bigger than any like movie but it is absolutely bigger than any other TV show. I'm gonna uh, look it up later and see what like the longest actual fight in a movie. I'm or gonna TV guess show Braveheart is. if I had to. Like that whole movie was the one fight. Yeah. Okay. There for a while, I think it was Ben Hur was like some. I don't know. Maybe I don't, I don't know. I'm talking out of my butt. Great. So let's <laughs> stop. <laughs> All right. Moving on. The number 
Well, wait, what do y'all have for number three? Number three, Adam. Yeah. Okay, just making sure y'all had the same thing for number three. We are going to talk about Adam Driver and why he is the way he is when he is Kylo Ren. That's I, a, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. What would you have to Oh, say? The, these are in no particular order, by the way, yeah. not of order of importance or anything like that. These are just like what we thought was coolest. Um, <laughs> it's in no order of importance other than it's what we think is the cool what, stuff. What we thought should it, the order should be. But uh, I actually, well, I didn't meet him, but I, 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 he he was actually partially raised in Arkansas. Really? Adam Driver, yeah. Because I want to say his parents are from Arkansas and he was partially raised Eight. here. He came to Little Rock uh, to premiere uh, um an indie film that he did and I, I got to sit and watch it with him and he did a Q, a Q and a after it was really cool. That's cool. Neat. Didn't know that. I like him more now, but moving on. So at the very beginning, back in the early days when the force awakens was just a myth in everyone's mind and they were starting everything going and they chose him to be Kylo Ren. They told him where his character was going to end up as far as his story arc goes. Mm. And in his mind, throughout all these movies and everything changing, he still held on to that. And in several, in an interview for a Black Klansman, he mentioned that he knew from the very beginning where his character was going, which is why he portrayed the character as he did. But with Disney giving each director their own creative freedom, that he still had in his mind, but things had to change to go along with the story. And he said uh, he knows now with episode nine, them having a whole bunch of extra footage from episode eight involving Carrie Fisher, that it's kind of going back to that. And he's going to have an extra subplot going into episode nine that's going to kind of bring his initial, what he was initially told, mm. back to light and to fruition. Right, because J.J. Abrams has it again. Yep. Hmm. And that and that's interesting because it seems like that's another instance of directors just straight out lying to fans. Yes. <laughs> and I, and I, I want to say that J.J. Abrams, uh, creator of Lost, <laughs> has has been known to lie to fans uh, yeah. already. But yeah, because he said from the beginning it, that he said from the beginning that oh no, I don't have everything played out. We're just kind of going as they technically didn't they just kind of had for certain characters like ray calorin and i think finn and plasma phasma it's phasma now yeah, phasma. uh they kind of had where their character was going to go or where their story should be headed but then the director still can do whatever what? they want didn't mm. phasma die bleep i'm oh, sorry <laughs> <laughs> uh yes no 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 yes no I thought we saw her what? die. We've saw her die in the first one and the second one. She just keeps coming so. back. She's just like a roach you can't squash. But I guess like technically we don't see the light go out of her eyes. So technically we don't mm -hmm. see her die. No. I, I would say kind you have to apply thing. the rule. Like if you don't see them die. Yeah, if you don't see them die, yeah. If you only see them explode and burn in lava, I mean, you still didn't see them die. You didn't see the light <laughs> okay. go out of their eyes. <laughs> yeah. Right. Isn't that what happened to Darth Vader? Didn't he like no, no, he was no. saved last minute. Like oh. he, he wasn't in. Yeah, he did get burned up, but he wasn't. Uh, like he lost. Well, uh, blue. Kenobi, Obi Wan cut off his arm and leg, and he did kind of fall towards Legs. the lava and get burned up a little bit. And Kenobi left him for dead, basically. But uh, the Emperor swung by and picked him up. Oh, oh, I must have missed ooh, that ooh, part. Super, like, neat thing. I don't know if y'all know this or not. So in that scene, in episode three, like, they muted him saying it because they actually, they actually recorded him saying the lines. And, like, before his eyes turned yellow, he's like, Obi-Wan, please help me. I love you. And then, like, Obi-Wan's like, I loved you too. But no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> kind of like and a then, whole... He's a color. <laughs> and then Lion his eyes King turned King. yellow. And, I hate you. That oh way, yeah. wow! So. I feel like that would have changed the movie a little bit. There's a it lot of things intense. that would have changed all of those movies, but mm -hmm. let's not talk about those. <laughs> yeah, definitely the third one was the best of the prequels. Yeah, but we're not going to talk about it. Yeah. Also, I, I just want to take a moment to, uh, while we're on Star Wars, 
to I, I made a, a YouTube video uh, when uh, the last Star Wars came out. Uh, uh, just breaking breaking down like what I didn't like about it and stuff like that. And since then, there has since I mentioned uh, toxic fandom earlier, uh, there's been this this wave of toxic fandom and people talking about toxic fandom and stuff like that. Can you explain what that is? What are you talking about? So toxic fandom mm -hmm. is generally like it depends on who you talk to because some people believe it's just basically any, any negativity for whatever is going to cause a movie to not do well in the box office, which is bunk because it should, it should perform on its merits. But, uh, toxic fandom to me is, is where, uh, like, um, shoot, I can't even remember her name. Rose. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, Rose's character who I said in my video, uh, was unnecessary. Like her character was un unnecessary because I, I felt that she took away, uh, the, the agency of Finn's character uh, for him to decide and become a stronger character. Uh, but that I did not say that, that the actress was useless. It's mm -hmm. kind of like the whole thing where uh, hate the character, respect the actor, or actress, Yeah, you know, don't equate the two like with Joffrey, King Joffrey in Game of Thrones, like sweet kid, like he quit. still gets fan mail. He quit. That's that's hateful. He, yeah. He quit acting because of all the hate that he got and that, like nobody can see past him exactly that's yeah. toxic fandom and so i just want to say like the 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 actress that played rose like got death threats and all kinds right. of stuff and she she even came out and said that she had contemplated she dealt with depression and contemplated suicide because her Jeez. first big thing and everybody just huge backlash so if I, I just want to say, if I had anything to do with that, I apologize. And that is not what I meant. Like she did great for what she did. I just thought the way the the story was written, that her character was unnecessary. But like for I the thought, plot. Exactly. And that has no bearing on her as a person or anything like that. And if, you, if you're the type of person that can't see the difference between them, just grow up. So I, that's what yeah. I want to say. Okay. Like, what's his face? In the face? other Star Wars movies that everybody hates, Jar Jar Binks. Yeah, that like dude that too. Guy, oh, like he's de a went huge into, victim. Like hiding with yeah. his son because his son got death threats and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Like people were the really. The guy who really, actually played Jar Jar Binks. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah. His own son, like, like he was homeschooled for a period of time because he couldn't go to school. Like. Very yeah. traumatic experience for people who deal Super with stuff traumatic. like that. Yeah. And mm -hmm. they even they even like the way they treated Jar Jar Binks' character at the like end of everything was kind of sad too. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 I mean, at first when it when it first came out, it was just he was just a fun character, but everybody was like, "Oh, he's racist because he's basically a Jamaican." <laughs> but it was a black guy playing him for one, you know, because uh, so whatever. But um, you know, take that as you want. But. Uh, yeah, the where part part of that was just that element of it, but also how Jar Jar was basically the one that turned over the kings to the, the keys to the kingdom to the emperor. So he's yeah. like, "Oh, Jar Jar is the whole reason for that," you know, that type of thing. So the person you love to blame everything on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's okay to have somebody that you love to hate, but realize that it's that's, that's the character. That's, a character. that's not a person. That person is doing the best job they can with the material they have. They are reading words off of paper. Exactly, like they, they're a human being. And a lot of times they don't really have a lot of say, especially mm -hmm. when you're a character like Jar Jar Binks, who it wasn't an actor who was like really well known, who had like any type of, uh, right, exactly. Like yeah. he had no pull, like he, you can't dis you yeah. can't tell someone who created a specific character, like, oh, I don't think your character should be like this. Like mm -hmm. you don't get to do that. You just act it out. Yeah, you're just happy to be a part of the, a franchise that you've loved. Right. You know? yeah. Or just happy to have a job, you know? Yeah. yeah. So. Anyway. Sadness. That's our bit. That's We're going to hop off our soapbox for yeah. a second here. Okay. So, um, numero four -o. <laughs> You can tell. Super I, I Bolo. Super Bolo. In Spanish. Halftime show -o. Yes. SpongeBob. -o. It's my, um, my uh, dark twin. Adam. Adam. Uh, Lambert? Lam what? No, not Lambert. Oh. Levine? Adam, Adam Levine. Levine. <laughs> Your dark twins. Yeah. Too many famous Adams. I've been mistaken for Adam Levine. 
What? By a blind nun? <laughs> I'm confused. I love you dearly. I've, I've put on it's some weight in the face. <laughs> but, <laughs> but when I was thinner, uh, me and Adam Levine, like I have a face where I look like several people kind of. Like I like people have called me Christian Bale, uh, Richard, like a young Richard Gere, like all kinds of. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that I see it. I'm just saying what people have said. <laughs> but we anyway. did come from a town that had a lot of meth involved. No, I, this is when I was <laughs> I'm when I was working at Hard Rock in New York City. I know. I'm just giving like, you. A we lot of we used to play the tourists. Like uh, uh, my friend Eddie would be like. All right, Adam. Thanks for coming. You know, and it was a it was a big joke that that uh, <laughs> that I worked at Hard Rock during the the time of between al albums for uh, Maroon Five. So, oh my gosh. anyways, wow. <laughs> so Maroon Five, Travis Scott, Just and what was the other pumping guy? up my own legacy? <laughs> <laughs> big boy. Big boy. Yeah. Did I, did I say it right? Yeah. And uh, possibly SpongeBob. SquarePants. Yes. Uh, in the teaser yeah. that they released for the Spon uh, SpongeBob halftime show, the Super Bowl halftime show. Because that's all that matters. <laughs> yeah, amen. Uh, SpongeBob definitely had like a little sneak in there, but I am an avid SpongeBob watcher, and it was not the SpongeBob from the episode that mm -hmm. the Super Bowl halftime show happened. So it's conflicting. Like, I don't think that that's like proof that they're going to do it because it yeah. wasn't that. It was just like Bob. a shout out to it. Kind of right. Like, hey, we we recognize that people want this. Yeah. Here's a little. Yeah. If, if you don't know, there was uh, uh, the creator of SpongeBob died. And so for the. Yeah, I talked about that last week or not well, last I'm, week, the week before. Right. But I mean, if they didn't see that episode, I want to give them some history right now. Bruh, Get go back up. and watch <clears> it because I did. Right. Fire. But for right now, if you if you're completely lost, uh, creator Spongebob died and uh, they thought uh, fans thought that he should be honored during the Super, time, Super Bowl halftime show by doing the Spongebob halftime show that was that was in the bubble the bowl, episode, the, the bubble, bubble bowl. bowl. Yeah. And, and so the like the petition got like what was like a, over a million signatures a or lot. something like that. Yeah. The universe signed it. <laughs> <laughs> God himself. And uh, so they, they, I they didn't took say note. that. That was all him. <laughs> what? He said caught himself. <laughs> Who doesn't like SpongeBob? I'm just saying that I'm not associated with saying that. Oh, pff, that's I don't, all I don't I'm care. saying. You can quote me on that. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Yep. Just, that's just it. you're all caught yeah. up. <laughs> so yeah, they gave they gave a nod to and all the everybody. Rules. Which I mean, it would be dumb uh, dumb of them to just completely ignore it. Yeah. yeah. Even, Even a costume mm -hmm. similar, we would appreciate. You know, yeah. like just I a mean, costume tip. We had left shark. A jar of mayonnaise. <laughs> I mean, really jar anything. Of mayonnaise. Yeah. Is mayonnaise an instrument? <laughs> yes. No, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. are we done with the Super Bowl? Because I, I want to so. talk about people getting buried. I think they should at least do something during the show and not just this little shout out. That's that's it. How I'm going to say, are we done talking about the Super Bowl? And you say, yeah. I and I start yeah. talking about engagements. I said, oh. And then you go back to it. So people getting engaged. Lots of famous people got engaged over the holiday. It's a new year for new engagements. Uh, probably the two that you've already heard of on Twitter, Instagram, any other social media. It's really getting uh, getting around out there. Is one Chris Pratt and um, Catherine Schwarzenegger are engaged. So they got engaged early January. So yes. January 9th, I that think is what it said. Yeah, that one. And uh, so they just announced it on Instagram. They both posted um, mm -hmm. kind of sickening little little Instagram mm -hmm. posts about Where's it. Catherine? How old is she? Catherine Schwarzenegger is yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger's daughter. That's daughter. what I thought. But I was like, I was like, you said that Schwarzenegger. Like, she's something else than Schwarzenegger? No, daughter? she's that Schwarzenegger. Because <laughs> <Okay. laughs> it's such a common name, you know? <laughs> hey, in another country like Austria, Maybe. it might be. Yeah. yeah. In case you didn't know, he is Austrian, not German. Right, which is why I said in Austria. Right, so. yeah, but yeah. So, I mean, there's a lot of things going around about this, and I really won't get on a giant soapbox about it, but it really shows that some of y'all have not gotten y'all's heart broken by Chris Pratt and Anna Ferris breaking up, and so I'm not about this necessarily. It might have been uh, a mutual agreement, and they parted their separate ways 
happily, whatever. And I mean, Anna Ferris has a new boyfriend. All four of them were seen trick or treating with their son. Like they're all co-parenting. That's a beautiful thing. But I'm still mad. <laughs> what is it? Consciously, uh, what did? I don't know which. Uh, what, what was it that Gwyneth Paltrow and Chris Martin? They're they're consciously uncoupling. <laughs> What? <laughs> it's like instead of saying splitting up and divorce, like they try to twist it. Anyways, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah. They're so I mean, there were there were a lot of different things about it, but I don't know that I'm. I don't even have a say so, so it's not like it matters. But I just really didn't. I don't like that they're both moving on. I mean, it's been two years. <laughs> Has it been that long? It's been two years wow. since they split, and so it was amicable and all those things. So people mm. move on faster from that. But it just seems. I thought it was. Yeah, I mean, I guess when you got quickly. it like that, because I mean, it, it's been almost ten years since my divorce, and I'm just now engaged. So <laughs> that is fair, and we've been together four years. So yeah. six years after your divorce. Yeah. Yeah, so Which, I guess I, mean, it is I ain't a little no bit Chris like Pratt. We don't co like that, so. <laughs> I ain't no Chris Hemsworth. I ain't no Chris Pratt. I ain't none of the Chris's. <laughs> okay, anyway, though, what was really cool about the whole situation so they're co parenting, and rather than uh, when Anna Ferris and Chris Pratt split, rather than one of them having uh, sole custody of their son, neither one of them have like technical custody. Like the, it, to the court, they're still both. Full, have oh, full rights sure. um, and they must live within 10 miles of each other until oh. their son graduates from sixth grade. Oh, wow. Which is really, miles, really cool. Wow. So they have to live very close to each other That's during really this time cool. so that the son is able to, you know, kind of commute between the two or whatever mm. in that sense. Um, and it might have actually been shorter. I think that 10 miles is actually too far. It definitely was close. Five miles, maybe. I think it might have been like five miles, like honestly. Bike riding distance between. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like essentially, that's what it was. It's so close that he could walk, hmm. kind of thing. Oh wow, five miles. <laughs> well, <laughs> like to these, a fifth grader, that's not bad. Well, I mean, these days people are like, "Oh my god, that, you're making that kid walk. That kid's got to walk. It. That's child abuse." Back in my day, we had to walk five yeah, miles like, both ways mm, uphill. For real, like I used to ride my bike to town, and that was like five miles. I mean, just I, mean, I would walk. I walked everywhere, man. Um, another engagement, big engagement that happened was Tim Tebow got engaged to Miss, a former Miss Universe. So she was Miss Universe in 2017. Uh, she's also Miss South Africa 2017. And so um, originally from uh, the Cape. And so they got engaged in a really cool, amazing way, which was so, so extra. Like if it could not have been more Tim Tebow. It was so Tim Tebow. Yeah. He had like what? a famous South African singer come hiding oh. behind a hay bale ready to serenade them. <laughs> he flew her entire family from South Africa to Florida. Okay. All of their family was waiting in the wings to congratulate them. It was a super, super Tim Tebow mm. move. Suddenly I feel like a chump. <laughs> <laughs> he said he even had a backup story. Ladies, he had been thinking about this so long that he borrowed a brand new pickup truck from a dealership and told her that he was so excited about the day because he was giving his dad a new truck. And that's wow. why he was so excited mm -hmm. and everything was wow. set up because that was happening. When in reality, he was proposing to her mm -hmm. with a rock. With a rock. Boy, that thing. Yeah. And so some of y'all out there act like you don't care about Tim Tebow, but you, everybody still cares about Tim Tebow. Like Tim Tebow, can you read off his list of accomplishments? Like this, this dude tweet is, has is an me icon. Dead. Okay, it said won a national championship and a Heisman in college, was a first round draft pick, played and won an NFL playoff game, went to the MLB, then became an ESPN announcer and is now engaged to a Miss Universe. Respect. Tim Tebow Jeez. Tim Tebow has truly found favor in the eyes of the Lord. And I just thought that that was the best thing on the planet. Yeah. And, and it also had pictures of their engagement. And so. and uh -huh. and he uh, whether, no matter what you think about it or whatever, but he's an He's an abstinent until marriage guy. Yeah, which and was he's crazy. He's like thirty-one, and he is. He's thirty-one. She's twenty-three. Yeah, so kind of an age gap there. Long, yeah, <laughs> so I mean, props, age gap props to him for keeping his beliefs. You know, and yeah, not, absolutely. Not pulling a uh, 
I, uh, Jessica Simpson, uh, Miley Cyrus, Jonas Brothers. Who else is on the list? Speaking of Miley Cyrus, <laughs> she also got engaged over the holiday to uh, Liam Hemsworth, which is why I mentioned him earlier. They kind of had like a little secret uh, wedding elopement type thing where she posted pictures on Instagram that looked crazily like wedding pictures. And all of her fans were like, what was happening? Mm -hmm. I don't understand. But it was their 10 year anniversary type thing. And so people were just confused, like maybe that's just what happened. But they actually did get married Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth are married mm -hmm. yeah and I, I just want to say like I list off the list of names people are allowed to change their mind I'm not hating on that I'm just I'm just poking fun I'm poking fun <laughs> yeah just teasing you guys we still love ya y'all no come have some do. tea <laughs> I'm just gonna <laughs> drink my tea and mind my own business <laughs> all right so I think wow we're doing good on time huh yeah. We're an hour in, Ms. so we producer move lady, it. move it right along. So, uh, just want to mention also, True Detective. Did you have aired. to mention it like that? Yes, I did, because okay. I'm super excited. True just Detective <laughs> aired this past Sunday, and it, I loved it. I thought it was amazing. Mahershala Ali is Ooh. phenomenal. Yes. Uh, Stephen Dorff is really good. Oh yeah. Um, and uh, there's there's another little known actor that you guys might not know. Dylan Law is really good. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't in these two episodes, yeah, but he'll I, be in the next. Yeah. So this this coming week, look for me uh, in in the scene. It was in the teaser uh, where he he pulls up in front of the bar in the in the car in the rain. I'm in that bar. So look for me. And it, if you blink, you might miss it. So <laughs> I put I'll put all of my ability into that moment. So it's it's there. I also <laughs> do want to mention but. I can't say her last name, uh, but Carmen Ejago. I don't Ejago? know. I'm not sure. She's the lead female character in it, and she just does a phenomenal yeah. job. Um, so while we mention Mahershala Ali and um, Stephen Dorff, we also want to mention her. She's just super yeah. great. Yeah, she's a very grounded character. Yeah, Ray uh, Fisher is Mahershala is Ali's son in it. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought I recognized him. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, there's yeah, a lot of big names and but also a lot of local names. That's yeah, a lot of local names, a lot of people I know. There's a lot of people from Little Rock, the Conway area, uh, Fort this, Smith, Fort Smith uh, the the of course Northwest Arkansas area where it was filmed, and uh, shout out to Fayetteville. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me, <clears throat> and a lot of uh, uh, locations because location is a character in True Detective. Oh, for so, sure. So. Uh, I mean, there were, I mean, Hugo's, there are several bars. Uh, Devil's Den. Devil's Den. It yeah, featured so if heavily. You've ever been to Devil's Den and you've been out on the Yellow Rock Trail that was featured in, in the second episode, mm -hmm. um, which I've personally been on that trail, just super fun trail to go on. So it was fun to point out things and just say like, oh my gosh, I've been there. That's so cool. You know, we, the first time I ever came to Fayetteville, we ate at Hugo's. Um, it was just a super fun yeah. Super fun to be able to point things out in it. And it was also just incredibly good and well portrayed. Mm -hmm. um, and just, I loved how they uh, put out two episodes. So they put out yeah. the first two episodes, which like you get the first episode and you're just like, man, I want to see more. And luckily enough, the second one comes right behind it, you know? So it's not like you binge watch all of them, mm -hmm. but it hooks you enough that you definitely don't want to miss it again. Oh, show. So uh, if you're not watching True Detective, go through there. You, you're only two episodes behind. You can go through and watch that. It is going to be a great show. Uh, a lot of people are, uh, a lot of critics are, are are comparing it to the first season. I know the second season didn't do so hot. I didn't I didn't watch the second season, so yeah. I can't comment on it. But they're uh, completely unrelated, so you don't have to see season one or right, season yeah, two to yeah, watch season. They're yeah, all it's, different. It's an encapsulated story, right? <clears throat> cool. So, anything else you want to say about True Detective? Since you kind of took that over from. <laughs> <laughs> well said well said <laughs> anyways uh it, it's just it's super exciting because there's a lot going on and it's it's just a great great show uh especially if you love police dramas and stuff like that mm. and detective stuff and the psychological thriller a lot of time jump type stuff which is yes. really fun oh yeah i love the element i wanted to say like the, the double exposure uh, stuff that they're using in the intro mm. is so such a perfect 
story element for what's going on with uh, Mahershala's character. Uh, I forget his name. Purple, Purple is, Haze. Purple Haze uh, is his what? nickname. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, he was name. like a, he was like one of those people in Vietnam that you just drop in the middle of nowhere and they find their way out like a tracker type thing. So oh, he's cool. legit. Like his character is crazy. And uh, like he tracks hogs for fun and stuff like that. So I mean, he's, for fun. Yeah. He's a hunter. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But he but he doesn't. He he says you know he doesn't hunt from a stand. He never uh, hunts with bait. He tra he hunts deer with a bow. He tracks. He is into like, like the fair game type thing. Like yeah. it's the hunt that's exciting for him. Yeah. So oh, like cool. this like he is he's like latched onto this case like a tiger. It's crazy. So I really like the twist on that element of it too. I just want to comment Ooh, bless real quick. Thank you. Bless you. Um, because it was very um, World's Dangerous Hunt. What, what is that? Is that what it's called? Uh, it was a book that I read in high school where like he brings these people in on this island or whatever and he's hunting the people. The and most so, like, dangerous oh, game? Yes. Yeah, thank you. Most, most dangerous yeah, yeah. game. And so like it's very similar to that in the way of like they talk about him enjoying hunting and tracking and those types of things and like that's what detective work is in a sense except for like we condone it as good because mm -hmm. they're hunting bad guys um yeah. so it's very an interesting element if you think about the the internal t turmoil that Marshall ali's character is going through mm -hmm. yeah and as as somebody who did get to work on this project i mean i mean i'm just blown away for the opportunity and i uh, thankful that that uh, HBO and the creator, Nick, I, I, sorry, I can't pronounce your last name correct, correctly. It's like Palacio or something like that. Uh, I'm just so thankful that they brought this to Arkansas and Northwest Arkansas and not filmed it on a soundstage somewhere like Ozark is supposed to take place here, but they film it elsewhere, like in Georgia or something. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm super thankful that they actually went to Arkansas and came here yeah. and did it here with with local talent and uh, just I, I'm just blown away super thankful so lots of talent here in Arkansas if you don't know if you got projects that there's there's any any landscape environment pretty much that you want to shoot Arkansas pretty much has it yeah, yeah. it can look like a jungle one second and then Mount, like LA mountains, and another plains you name it farmland I mean, yeah like yeah, literally we like, live in a suburb like a duplex area and there's cow pastures like not even a hundred yards behind us. Yeah. Like the only thing we don't have is like oceans. But we've Which got kind huge of hard lakes. To come by in a landlocked rivers. state like Arkansas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, we can we've got we've got we a Rock Hill Studios now. We can It we has can rained it. a lot. Yeah. Recently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> According to some people we do have that. So uh so also uh, we're so uh, along with this true detective thing, uh, we we want to cover these shows and we've talked about it in the past where we would do an offshoot uh, where we just cover the show like we do with The Walking Dead. But uh, as far as just like resources, I'm only one person, so I can't I don't have enough time to edit and put all that together uh, one day, one day. But. As of right now, so we're just gonna have just like a little insert in the FOMO show where we cover the shows that we we want to cover but really don't have the time or resources to cover, like True Detective, uh, Game of Thrones is coming up, so we'll, we'll have an insert for that. We do cover, um, I think The Walking Dead is the only one, or The Walking Dead and Westworld are, are the only two shows that we do separately right now, but with the FOMO show going on and then some of these shows overlapping, uh, it, 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 it would just be too much right now because uh, The Walking Dead is coming back and so we'll be filming two shows here coming up. Uh, so we'll, we'll be dropping in like uh, The Walking Dead inserts into this show as well. So like as of right now, uh, they're, uh, the only update that I have is that on Twitter, they've been dropping uh, these character profiles where you, they, it's like a GIF of like Ezekiel or Michonne or Alpha. And uh, and if you didn't see the teasers of, uh, there's there's one teaser they did like, I can't remember if it was like two weeks ago or last week or whatever, uh, <clears throat> that just showed, uh, I don't think it was actual footage from the show, but it just showed how uh, the Whisperers are watching our characters in their environments unbeknownst to them. 
and uh, and they were, and mm-hmm. then they kind of gathered at the end, and 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 Alpha was, oops, Alpha was like, shh, and uh, you know they don't belong here, so it was really creepy. So I'm super excited for The Walking Dead comes back. I can't I remember the date it comes back. It comes back in February. February 13th. February 13th. Before th- Valentine's Day, right? That's, that's, I want to say Valentine's that's right. Day is on a Monday this year, I believe. So. Yeah. I should have wrote I'm that down. I'm way off. What is it? When is it? Uh, it's got to be February 10th because it's the weekend before Halloween, right? What? Uh, Halloween, <laughs> LOL, Valentine's Day. <laughs> I get confused in my mind, you know, you blood just and gore. <laughs> But I'm yeah, anyways, it, it comes back next month. It's coming back soon. Uh, there's, I know that it's less than a month away, the return of The Walking Dead. And there's going to be nine episodes. And then <clears throat> it seems like it's going to be... February 10th, that was right. Yep, yeah, February 10th. So it, it just kind of... Uh, as soon as that ends, Game of Thrones is going to pick up. And it'll be the last season. And what, what we really wanted to do is do each episode and have drinks and chat. But... Uh, with the wedding happening and and this with going how long winded these people are, yeah. how long winded Dylan gets many drinks. Yeah, I get super chatty, but uh, so I mean some of the some of the most fun podcasts are where people have a drink and talk about different stuff, and they yeah. and it just it almost gets like funny. drunk history. Kind of. If yeah. you haven't seen uh, that show, that's a hilarious I love yeah. show. Drunk history. Yeah. So uh, maybe we'll try to incorporate that into something. I don't know, but. We'd have to reconfigure everything because we filmed this on Tuesday morning and I'm not about to start having a drink that yes. early. It's <laughs> called mimosas. Quinn said he's down, but. <laughs> 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 or Bloody Mary. Hey, those are morning drinks. Maybe we can figure that out. Anyways. <laughs> and, and when you watch this, won't, you won't know except that I just told you. <laughs> so I think that's it. Anybody got any last thoughts on Oh, well, Anything? super duper real quick, super fast for anyone out there who is a fan of any sort of anime. Uh, Jump Force is a game that is coming out that brings together uh, it's the 50th anniversary for Shonen Jump, who have pretty much created any major anime ever. Uh, and they're going to have an open beta for the game. It's going to start January 18th. You just have to download it. It's only for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. And it's only for certain times in each session over the next four days after that. And that's it. That's it. Boom, baby. I I just want to throw this in. Last week, I I put in my bid for Batman. And uh, (laughs) because they can't decide who they want to be Batman right now. Or Or they're still deciding, I should say. Not they can't decide, and there's there's a lot of names in the in the hat, and I th- wanted to just throw my little name out there. Uh, now that I've got some street cred with True Detective, <laughs> uh, anyways. <laughs> so, uh, but I also just wanted to say just that uh, just cred. the uh, uh, Steven Spielberg is doing a remake of West Side Story. He just cast as one of the main characters an unknown. So I'm it's just possible. I'm just saying it's, there's hope. It's possible. So it's always hope. help me out. If you if you got connections, help a brother out. Share, make it go viral. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter, and my my little Twitter tag is gonna be right down here. So yeah, find okay. it. <laughs> I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You can find me. Uh, anyways, <laughs> that's all. That's all I gotta say about that. Okay. Anybody else? Anything? Nah. All right. Cool. So right. appreciate you guys watching. Uh, once again, happy birthday to Ansley and Riley. Happy uh, birthday. Uh, so. Uh, whether you're watching on YouTube, Facebook, oh, oh what? Bir- Wayne, Wayne's birthday was Monday. That's right. Happy One birthday, One of our Wayne. avid watchers, yes. Wayne Brown, who also gave me happy this birthday. cup for Christmas. Yeah, that's right. And uh, so, happy, happy birthday, birthday on Monday. I had the same birthday as Ansley. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it was right. Yesterday. Yep. So happy birthday, Wayne. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you, man. Uh, so if you're, if you guys are watching on YouTube, Facebook, or listening on podcast form, we appreciate you. Uh, that that. Counts Wayne. <laughs> so. Who also just received a t-shirt. So Y'all, you should rep it. Yeah. So if you guys uh, also, so you can go to our store, which it's is www.broken.pictures. None of us are wearing them this time. <laughs> slash store. No.com. 
And you can get a poster like this. You can get the poster that we use for The Walking Dead. You can get t-shirts, uh, stickers, stickers magnets. magnets, all kinds of cool stuff. And uh, you can rep it. So we'd appreciate it. I'm uh, working on lollipops with my faces on it. <laughs> that Face. would be amazing. Yes. <laughs> I want to say something office related so bad. Um, I don't. I had, I don't know what reference she's speaking of, so I can suck speak it. To that. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need to know. If you watch The Office, you'll get it. <laughs> Nothing else necessary. Yep. So find us on uh, uh, individually. You can see our uh, our Twitter tags down here at the bottom. So. Uh, you can find us on Twitter. Go ahead and send some questions and we'll, we'll try to shoot some answers or maybe stuff that you would like to see us talk about on the show. We'd appreciate that. Um, you can find us on Facebook. It's going to be Broken Picture Social. Social, rather. Uh, Instagram and Twitter is going to be Broken underscore Social. Uh, we're big on the Twitters and, and Instagrams. Um, Catch me on the gram. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> okay. How about that? I forgot about that. Yeah, <laughs> she's still a thing apparently. Apparently yeah, she's, she's a really, Apparently she's really good too. Nah, uh, I've, I've heard that she is. I haven't I've heard, heard her, her stuff, but she's, she's touring with good. like Nicki Minaj and Cardi B and stuff. Yeah. Ain't no way. Oh, yeah, for there's real. There's no way. So... I'm legit gonna look up if she's actually touring with them. She was. I saw it. It was the a couple months back. Of Ratchet. So wretched. That, that's what that is. That's Which is what she's known for. So I mean, like, yeah, that's true. quality, I guess. She's sticking to what <laughs> she knows. That's her brand. So uh, you can also find us on Patreon, where you can drop us some change or subscribe to. I know uh, Nicki Minaj and Cardi B aren't touring together. I know. So I, know. I couldn't remember like which one it was. Touring with them. Anyways, Patreon. If uh, you so choose, you can uh, drop us some change and support the channel, and uh, support Broken Pictures on there. Uh, but more importantly, if you guys would just uh, <clears throat> like, share, rate, review the podcast, uh, rate and review on YouTube or Facebook or wherever you find this, we'd appreciate it. Like, share, let your friends know uh, that that helps uh, the social media profiles and and uh, algorithms uh, push us to the front so more people can find us. We'd appreciate that. And we'll stop hounding you and we'll hound them. So... <laughs> <laughs> So uh, if you're on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell notification so you can get new videos all the time. All the time. And so, is there anything you want? You're still looking this up? Yeah. We'll post about it later. <clears throat> yep. I'm Dylan. I'm Lydia. I'm Vanilla Icy. <laughs> <laughs> that was cute. With the chocolate topping. <laughs> With the chocolate topping. <laughs> <laughs> and oh. thanks for watching. Peace. Bye. And I'm going to say goodbye. Adios. <laughs> <laughs>